Welcome to the Joy of Freedom with Rob Floss and I'm Madison. And today we are going to floss the stress out of your political teeth with some painting. And mostly flossing. <laughs> if you floss one time in the middle of our painting, I will kill you. I was literally flossing that whole time. <laughs> the way we're going to do this is we have people, places, and things. I think it's actually people. 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 Descriptors. Descriptors. <laughs> right here so we can... Places. I'm going to switch this. Someone forgot his mustache. Oh, there we go. I hate this. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so now we're gonna have our ladder man spin the wheel for us to see what we're going to be using. Also, our ladder man is gonna let us know when to switch out our utensils when he yells, CHANGE! Just like that. <laughs> it looks like it's so lopsided. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we're using precision brush. Woo! Oh wait, woo! What should so we pick first? A description. Up tight. I'll get it. It's too American for him. Roof of the White House. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. And up then you tight. can pick this one. Bernie Sanders. <gasps> Bernie Sanders up tight on the White House using a precision brush. Here we go. You know, I guess from I had him. Shh, I already had him roll for make him spin. Spin the thing, boy. Large brush. So the you, what use. you're going to do? This is this one right here. Um, I think you should take I over shall use the sides, the, the sky, get the sky. Yeah, so yeah. now we are going to paint. Okay. So I have the precision brush, which means I am going to be painting the White House itself, and you're painting the sky in the background. What does the White House look like? It's, it's like a beautiful building. It is primarily white. <laughs> Change! It looks like I have a small brush. That's good. And for him... Brown crayon. This is Bob Ross's favorite utensil. Okay. Rob Floss should do this, son. It is beautiful. <laughs> he's actually painting <laughs> with a crayon. Rob Floss knows what he's doing. I'm supposed to Change! Looks like I'll be using a yellow highlighter. <laughs> you took the one yellow thing I had! Okay. Rob Floss has a Rob brown Rob Floss, continue to use the brown crayon. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, oh my, flowers in the front. You might think that the world of politics in Washington is always gray and depressing. But you shall know that it is, the sun is shining and it's sure. And it is very happy. It doesn't really look happy, actually. <laughs> what is going on? A eclipse? <laughs> Fun fact about Donald Trump: uh, he his hair is actually 100% real. He grew it out of his head. See. <laughs> it's weed. <laughs> Practice your French. <laughs> Change. So it looks like I'll be using the orange highlighter. <laughs> and you... will also be using an orange highlighter. We're gonna have to take turns. Too bad we are not drawing Donald Trump. What are you doing? That's not a flower. I am drawing a happy little Trump. <laughs> nice little orange man. Thank you. Um, should I just like finish him off? Your turn. Like, Back to the flowers. Wait, hold on. No, 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 He paints. When he paints, no one shall touch him. Change. You're literally drawing fire. It looks like I'll be using a small brush again. I love this small brush. <laughs> I 
I will be using a All black you painters marker. out there, get yourself a nice all-purpose board. This is a black mac. <laughs> Is that a campfire? Did he Okay. It is happy yeah, little bonfire. It is a okay. very, very nice black marker. And this is a black marker. No, this is not the black marker. This is the black marker. It literally says right there. It's a it's furniture a, marker. Look up this there. This literally is a black marker. Look, fun fact, Bernie Sanders is actually a Democrat. No. Are you a Democrat? No. What are you? You're French. So you know what politics is like in France. Don't you have a, a prime minister? <laughs> I have a black marker. Spin the wheel for me, brother. Sponge brush. Now you can finish the sky or the grass that we don't have. So his hair is kind of a whitish gray, Bernie Sanders. I don't know if you know that about him, but um, it's not the best. His hair is literally flowing in the wind. Look at it, it's like blowing that way. Cheers! Thank you, Lord. Oh my goodness. Okay, so- You get a green crayon, whatever that is. So I got a green crayon. I'm just gonna do the grass. Spin the wheel. So I'm going to be using this green to paint on the green. Large brush I got. Sometimes Believe. when the sun is really bright in um, DC, it literally reflects off the grass and the grass just... It, what happened <laughs> at the White House? It appears as though Bernie Sanders was a little too uptight that day. I really think you need to commit to that sky more. I really, really thought that's what we were talking I about. Your blue. Okay. I spent so much time... To not... I have water! Done with the grass. Can you add a little more blue? Can you get the edges? I, no, no, <laughs> no. Do you no. know that we have a, our sun is a yellow sun. Okay. Large brush. You know, Ralph Loss does not like to waste And you have paint. orange highlighter. Orange highlighter. I feel like this is rigged. Scrub. He's crossing his arms. So, so what do you what do you think um, Bernie Sanders even likes? Like, what kind of person is he? I know he likes the Soviet Union. Does he? He likes asking people for uh, financial support. That's sweet hat. We forgot to do Trump's hair, and there we have it. I think we're finished. Honestly. Just one more stamp of approval. And there we have it. The finished painting of Rob Floss and Madison. <laughs> this is an interesting picture, uh, kiddos. Interesting Rob element. Is not a kiddo. Not a what? He's a full man. Goodness, kiddo the and full grown man. So let's talk about some elements of this piece. There's a lot of. Uh, there's a lot color. of. Color. Lots of color. Yeah, yes, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of colors. Let's talk about your your color scheme. A lot. I see a lot of green and teal. Can we explain what, what's going on there? Well, this somebody is... doesn't know how to just distribute the blue properly. They decided to put it all in globs there and globs oh. there. Okay, so let's talk about, let, uh, let's, so, so let, let's talk, let's, okay. Let's talk about all these non-sky colors that we used in the sky. Like we got some yellow, This some represents. I wasn't yellow. in charge of the sky, so you This represents him. the multiple colors of the sky and across every region of this world that we live in. We were like Elizabeth Warren. We were painting with all the colors of the wind. Ah, all, oh, Ralph yeah. Foss. Can I talk to Jacob? Yo, Jacob will come to the door. Hello, Jacob, you come here. He's coming. He's coming. Okay, so hang on. So first of all, do you think like maybe there's like a tornado or something going on? There's a lot of green in the sky. Is this symbolic of the future presidency of Bernie Sanders? I feel like Very. Possibly. Or is it tornadic because of, who's this? What's this? Yeah. This is our president, Donald Trump. It, it um, really represents him well. Okay. It's like flowing a... hair, his very colorful skin. And the blood coming out of the White House here? This is not blood. Oh. This is paint. They were trying to paint the White House. Oh, the White House. They thought that white, they were thought that white, um, that the White House represented white supremacy, which no, it doesn't. It doesn't. It represents, I would say, purity, but they, did not care about the um, the purity of the White House. Okay. So they tried to paint it. Okay. Uh, in red. In red. In, in red. In green. Okay. So why is it? What what happened? They only started, or they didn't? They ran out of taxpayer dollars to pay them, or what happened? Yes. Government shutdown. 
All of the above. I'm kind of wondering why it looks like Donald Trump is coming out of a um, leprechaun pot. Who is cooking Donald Trump? <laughs> Bernie, Bernie Sanders, Sanders is. is. Oh. Yeah. He's trying no. to cook him out on the front porch for everybody to see. I see the fire is the same color as Donald Trump's face. Can we explain that? I don't think anyone can explain that. Okay. Yeah, what's going on here? Is this a fire? It's, what a, is it's a bonfire. <laughs> They're having their, their um, you know, their, annual their hog annual, roast. They do that a lot. Hog Why roast. do you think the whole building caught on fire? They did it too close this year. He said that's paint. Well, you know, you know, many people have different interpretations. This is pretty much abstract. As okay, you can see. okay, yeah. I can see. Tell me about what Bernie Sanders is wearing. Democrat colors. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. His hair is blowing in the wind, and if you see, his green tie is also blowing in the same oh, direction. Oh, green tie. It's okay. A green tie. Yes. The flag is <laughs> That's true. The flag is blowing in the opposite direction. What, what's happening it, it, there? Oh, you were right about the tornado. It's a tornado. Yes. Okay. Tell me about why there's yellow over here. It's Leave the it. wind. The wind. The wind is blowing stuff off the sun. No. So what's your favorite I mean, part about the American that? flag is pretty dope, I gotta say. Um, what? personally, yes. I like the structure of the building. I feel like it's very accurate. Um, I also really appreciate Donald Trump's hair that's blowing also in the same direction as... Well, you know, the wind. The, the wind right in this spot, on this, like, this section was blowing yeah, well, that way. Yeah, the tornado was going like this. Yes. It was, so kind of, it was kind of going this it way. Was, it was pulling it this way, but it was also blowing this way? Side this way. No, this way. Oh, this... Because you know, you know tornadoes, way? they pick up. And so it's blowing. Tornadoes go so many different directions. You're right, I guess. Jacob, what, what's your favorite part of this uh, painting, this masterpiece? The style of the sky. Can we get Rob Floss back? Yo, Rob! Um, so he is back. Can he is I? Back right now. Oh yes. Can you please explain this green dot? That green dot. It's, it it's, is the mark of Rob Floss. Oh. It's on every single one of his paintings. Have you never oh, seen Rob Floss paintings? Okay, so tell me about Bernie Sanders' attitude. It looks like he's got like he's look uptight. like he he's just got ate his some. Arms looks crossed. like he's just or something. He well, of course he is. Or he, he is fat on socialism. Okay, okay. Why does he have a grandma wig? It's literally his hair. Okay. Live and learn. What's your least favorite part about this, Rob Floss? I would say probably the flowers. <laughs> they are not speaking to me. And I you're have to do least... with a highlighter. Ralph Loss, he painted the beautiful sky I with a crayon. The least favorite part of this painting for me is the sky. You do not have the gift of the otter's eye. The otter's eye? Not the otter's eye, the artist's eye. Artist's eye. I heard otters. Well, you do not have otter's eye either. I feel like there's too much green. I feel like it kind of looks like um, if you flipped it upside down like this. It wouldn't look. Much. Oh, Rob Floss painting it is wouldn't. even more beautiful, even as beautiful upside down as it is up right side up. Okay, so what do you see Rob in this Floss upside down painting? Well, what's what's, the what's what Rob Floss gets from this painting this is, is that what... America will be turned upside down when Bernie Sanders, <laughs> if Bernie Sanders becomes the president, I would have to say. <laughs> kind of looks like we're under the ocean. What's this in the ocean? It's a sea urchin. A yellow it's, sea urchin? It, well, it maybe. It's actually a puffer fish. It, it's a puffer fish. It looks. Yes. Okay. Do you ever see. You ever see a. What? Just because you live in France, you think you know more about the ocean than me? Um, what's this? Of... What's going on here in the ocean? That is an upside down rocket ship in the water. <laughs> right, so let's flip it over and let's sign it. Where are you going to sign it? I'm going to sign it in the middle. <laughs> it likes, looks like Welcome to Rob F's house. <laughs> Rob F for president. <laughs> It is beautiful. So we hope that this time with the joy of freedom has taken away your stress and added freedom to your life. Oh, look at this. I look like I'm wearing a giant diaper. <laughs> Say that and then it's gonna look really Lots. funny if you just go like this and then just lower.